see what's happening where it's happening every morning on GVAM. It's Friday and of course that means it's checkout day. So let's go over to Linfolds Wood now to find out the latest consumer news. Over the next few weeks we'll be giving you all sorts of useful tips on electrical appliances. This week we put food mixers and processors under the spotlight. Here's Jenny Webb from the Electricity Castle with her advice. Nowadays we see a lot of advertising on the subject of food processors and it gets very confusing as to the difference between a food processor and a food mixer. Well today we've got a food mixer, a hand machine, a food mixer, a table machine and then a food processor. Food mixers were designed I suppose on traditional mixing methods such as whipping and creaming and so on. And here I've got a hand mixer, a Philips, to do these egg whites, I simply put the machine back on, turn it down, and switch on to full. You'll notice that the bowl's going round very quickly, and this is because it is actually on a swivel, and also the beaters are helping to drive it round, so you get a better mixing operation. That's unlike the Kenwood table model, which has a static bowl. Not only does it do the traditional mixing, but it will mix larger quantities, and you can get attachments. For example, this mincer, or the blender, and the slicer shredder, and a dough hook. A food processor is primarily designed to do chopping, grating, slicing, shredding. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That was quick, wasn't it? But you do get other attachments with the food processor including a slicing plate, so you can slice your carrots again if you wish. Blades, and these are very sharp, so do be careful. And they, they're used for chopping meat and for perhaps making purees if you wish. And finally, you get this for whisking egg whites and doing light mixtures. So what to look for when you buy a food preparation machine? Well, obviously, the first thing is the BEAB label of safety. The second is to look at the machine closely and see that you can take it apart and put it together again quite easily. And perhaps also to make sure that the machine will do what you want it to do. So do have a look at the instructions and recipe book. Incidentally, a lot of machines have what they call a rated on time. In other words, it means you can only have the machine running for so many minutes and then you have to stop. So do check this. It may not be important, but it could be important to you. I didn't know that. Well, that's it for the checkout for this week. I'll be back on Tuesday with Alarm Call. Join me then.